I want to do a quick video. Try to be as quick as I can because I am running behind schedule here. Anyway, look on the screen. Look on the screen. This is what? Bad Baby. Mm -hmm. Bad Baby shares receipts for claims. She made $52 million on OnlyFans. Hmm. Is that right? $52 million on OnlyFans. So, uh, Bat Baby is proving that she did make $52 million on OnlyFans. It all started when the rapper, born Danielle Bergoli, took to her Instagram to share that she wants everyone to move past the viral 2016 Dr. Phil TV interview that skyrocketed her to fame due to her, quote, cash me outside catchphrase. It's not something that I'm just, oh, yes, I'm so in love with being the girl that got famous for being on Dr. Phil and saying some crazy SHIT. No, that's not how I feel, she said. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? He says, call me the youngest female of the decade to go platinum. Call me S like that. Like, there's way more things. She continued in the video uploaded by TMZ. Call me the Gucci flip-flops girl, the high B girl, the girl who got a blanking million dollar makeup deal, the girl who made over blanking 50 million on OnlyFans. Call me whatever you want. When you try to find a way to be annoying about something, it's just kind of weird. Hmm, is that so? After receiving backlash for her OnlyFans claim, Bad Baby decided she shared a screenshot of her alleged earnings on the pay subscription service on Monday, April 25th, with the caption, Go cry about it, B. While also thanking Scoop Agency partners, according to TMZ. Back in 2021, Billboard confirmed that the 19-year-old star racked up $1 million on OnlyFans in just six hours, breaking a record. For the NSFW content sharing platform, a million dollars in six hours. I remember hearing about that. The rapper charged twenty three ninety nine per month for access to photos and videos on her OnlyFans page, which she created just a week after her eighteenth birthday. She posted the receipts Thursday night via Instagram, showing seven hundred fifty seven thousand five hundred twenty six dollars and eight cents that she made in subscription fees. Two hundred sixty-seven thousand six hundred seventy-five dollars she made from direct message payments, and five thousand five hundred and two dollars and thirty-five cents she made in tips that mounted to one million plus in earnings. Quote: Not bad for six hours. We broke the blank out of that OnlyFans record. Baby wrote on her socials. Wow. Bella Thorne previously held the record on the paid subscription platform after the 23-year-old singer actress made a million in under 24 hours on OnlyFans and later doubled the amount in less than a week last summer. Now, I want you to look at this clip that she did on Dr. Phil. Okay? Keep in mind, she made a million dollars in the first six hours. Now she's made $52 million on only fans check this out this is her on dr phil um here we go fair use listen to her language how she talks then i'm gonna call your p.o you got one more time to hit me danielle you got one more i ran out four times in one day and the cops brought me back every time she wants me to be sent away you want me to just that put me in jail so tell me what you think you're doing that contributes to this chaos and this problem i don't behave disrespectful i steal cars i steal her credit card i ain't gonna lie there's no reason to lie everybody know already like what do you say to yourself that gives you the right to take somebody else's car it's not gonna be sly f you mean that's what makes me want to take the next bitch car what now? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Are you speaking English? Do you have an act? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. You. Right to take somebody else's car. 
I'm talking to be sly. The f you mean? That's the way you want to take the next bitch car. What now? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Are you speaking English? <laughs> Do you have an accent of some sort? Tell them where it comes from. You know. <laughs> from the street. Mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, so, tell me again, wh what is it you say to yourself that gives you the right to take somebody else's car? I don't say anything to myself. I just say, all right, that's a car. There's some keys right in front of me. I know where the car at. You know where the car at? <laughs> Did you, did you go to the fifth grade? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm asking, how far did you go? Well, I stopped at seventh if you want to get technical. You stopped at the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. So you did go through the fifth grade. Yeah, I did. Okay, I was just curious. Okay, so you just take it and you don't consider that it belongs to someone else? No. Nope. Your keys in my room, you're asking for it. You don't leave your keys in a per in someone's room when they've stolen cars before. Like you asking for it. Um, so what do you think is going to happen when you happen to steal somebody's car that disagrees with that and decides that they're gonna drop a hammer on you and prosecute you to the full extent of the law. Then I do my time in jail. Jail ain't nothing. That's what I always do, and they never catch me. Ain't nobody gonna catch me. Cause you're too streetwise. Yup. And all these hoes laughing like so funny. She's talking about the audience, that they're laughing at her. Did Did you say the 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 hoes are laughing? Yep. So the audience are a bunch of hoes. Yep. <laughs> Now, you hear that? Catch me outside. How about that? And when she was saying about the cars, I was like, is she about to drop the N-word? Hmm. So she obviously subscribes to hood culture. Hood culture. Catch me outside. How about that? Just, she a dustina. Love to steal cars. Talk stupid. Loud. Ignorant. And throw me in jail then, just like a dusty now, fighting the way to get in there. Jail ain't nothing. So, looking at this poor excuse for a young girl, looking at this gal, this Dustina, in my opinion, straight up Dustina, despite the money. What group of men you think is supporting her? You think men like Dr. Phil? Now, you might find a few little Dusty Dan, you know, who they want to have a little hood card or what they, you know, you, you may find a few of them. But who do you think mainly is supporting this fool? Now, if it were a black teenager, oh, that's the mama fault. That's the parent fault. That's the mama fault. So then this little uh, Dustina, I consider her a Dustina, my opinion of her. I don't care how much money she has. Then she gets on OnlyFans and makes a million in six hours. You think mainly white men, Hispanic, Italian, Jewish, Irish, black men supporting this behavior? I'm gonna go with the last. I'm gonna go with the last one. Black. Mm-hmm. Yes. I will. This right here. This is what they like. Hood rat. But it's okay. It's also a JBW moment. Just be white. Hood rat. On OnlyFans, and then I thought about this here. A million dollars in six hours. $2,399 for access. You got dust buckets. And I'm going to just call them out. You got this right here. I can assure you. And I've read online that most of her base is black men. You think? I think it's quite obvious she's adapted to hood culture. Don't forget, there are cultures within cultures. Middle class, working class, decent. Some people more intellectual. Some are just stupid. We have that too. Or stupidity, stupidity permeates the group. Then you have smaller groups that are intellectual. Some are kind of like a day. You know, it's, it's, 
there are cultures within cultures. So this right here, by her behavior, her dialect, her presentation, you already know it's a black man. She likes hood culture. You think Wall Street, Goldman Sachs support this? You could find a hood book in the bunch, but more than likely, no. You see Dr. Phil's approach. So who do you think more than likely? It's, I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer in supporting her. Who do you think is on the OnlyFans? Black men support this behavior. So black men support this behavior. Who the hell you think putting the money up? Some of the same dust buckets that's got children paying $35 a month. $35 a month in child support. Think you're doing something. You wonder why no one's trying to save the community? They know how they operate with their hair, with their money. When it comes to black women, they want to talk about all the money that's spent on hair. Really? Well, if you're so much concerned about the hair, why don't you go ahead and build something so they can rock afros, hit it with the afros every day in braids, okay? Why, why don't you go do that? No, you just stand back. Now, don't forget, bad baby, she can get the money. You're not going to tell me all this money coming from a whole, whole, whole bunch of white men. I, I ain't buying it. She subscribes to hood culture. I guarantee you, black men are her base. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody who haven't even paid their child support, haven't paid a light bill, and I don't know when, giving her money. From your dust bucket to the, to the dusty, uh, educated lane, who else would support it? So what I want to know is, to all the mammies, you sitting there pretty trying to hold them down, my, not my son, to all the black women holding down your baby daddy, you appear like a, a, a rented mule just going to work, working for, and the money goes take, you got to take care of yourself, take care of your children, take care of him and his children. I always want to holler what we can't do. Oh, what they won't let me. I, I guess the white man, did he have to, did he have to get permission to, uh, for her to raise this kind of money off black men? It is what it is. And think, it's not even, you just don't own the fans. It's not like she coming to your house and having a date with you. So you want to talk about, well, black women wouldn't weave, wouldn't weave. Look like you like to pay thoughts and whatnot. Some black women are also selling, uh, selling, selling weave and hair extensions and all that, making it their business. Yeah. So I, and I'm like, huh. Her base, I'm sure it's black men, the least educated, most incarcerated. Some of the children are graduating and can barely get out of high school. So if you can get this kind of money off black men. Maybe it would take her to say, we go ahead, y'all, and get a school. And I, I, I'm willing to bet you if she were to do a crusade and say, hey, let's do some school for the black kids that they don't talk stupid like I do. I bet she, I'm willing to bet you she would, uh, she could raise the money. Oh, yeah, she, she, she could raise the money. She could raise the money. Why? When it comes to ignorant black people, dust buckets, it's, it's all right, it's all right. JBW, just be white. Okay, tell me, who do you think, listen to her dumb behind talk. They still call, yeah, it ain't nothing. Yeah, yeah, it ain't nothing. Catch me outside. Listening to her, her speech, you know she subscribes to hood culture. It's obvious. And look at the things. I was considering a video. I said, well, no, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. And I said, it might be really kind of rude. I'm going to go ahead and do it. This group, is it really worth it? Any black woman, when something happens, you out there marching, you need your head examined. But hold on. Let's not forget. I'm telling you, from what I've read, her, her base is black men. So, 
you can get this kind of money. I'm going to say, in my opinion, from what I see red and red, the majority of black men, that's her base, a million dollars in six hours. So now she's made 52 million on OnlyFans. These are the same Negroes, I guarantee you, collectively, that's costing the black community $50 billion annually. Black men are costing the black community, it's the Dusties, $50 billion annually. But you want OnlyFans, huh? Somebody probably sent up there giving this girl money. Probably got a credit score of 301. I'll be jumping up and down if he can get a 515. I'm sure they're probably giving her money and their child support's behind. So here's my question. I need you to explain to me. And we're going to go way back to the Brookings Institute. And it said it's the, the wealth of the community, the children, what have you. It is dependent upon the men. We can see where the money's going. And by the way, they're talking about black women with weed. They're wearing weave too. A guy from Atlanta, I thought it was his hair. Oh, no. They are already weaved up and G'd up to braids. All wow, really? But you're talking about black women. Might have a bald spot. Not anymore. He'll come out. What? He got a fade? The child of bald spot been covered up. They were in lace fronts too. Look at the dysfunction. I'm finally getting the message. I used to, you know, I'll have things being a black person in my experience. What's going to happen to black people? And I have, I've had people, now these people are quite well off that tell me this. Black and white, don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. I think I finally get, I get it. And I thought, huh. It wasn't about racism. No, they, even though I'm the black person and I have a lot less money, they are, they know what I don't know. The research is in. The research is in. The stats are in. The, 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 the findings, it's, it's, it's been concluded how this community operates. So you're costing the community $50 billion annually. But it looks like a lot of black men, a many black men is on OnlyFans. A many black man is on OnlyFans. Because I hate to tell you, only black men would on a major scale support this. The majority. I guarantee you. You may have some of other races in my saying that they're on. But I can promise you, it's got it's got dust bucket written all over it. I don't care if he's educated with a PhD. Still dusty. So for all you black women sitting up here, got your man in your purse. You are, you, you are prepared for them and you, and you just holding on. I'm sorry to tell you, darling, you are delusional. You're weak. Supporting your man. I've had one tell me to my face. He's standing by her man. Girl, go do it. But please, the last time we spoke was when she called me about her rent money. What's he doing? You sure as hell not getting any money out of me. A thousand dollars short, I guess. And you're calling me because you need to talk to a man. Maybe if you weren't supporting him, if he get off his ass and get a job or get a business going, we wouldn't have this problem. I really feel sorry for black women that are carrying a whole load, and especially carrying a man. I really feel sorry for you. You don't love yourself. You you really don't. And then some of you done got into a situation for you to back out, child. It might be some violence. Might be some violence. But yeah. $50 billion, buddy. $50 billion, buddy. That's what it costs. The, the dust has cost the black community. Ladies, don't fool yourself. When they come and, oh, I can't do this when he can't. No, no. I can't. People can do sometimes what they want to do. What they want to do. What are black schools at? 
What if this morning, the $52 million was spent with black businesses? And one in, in the last couple of years. $52 million with black businesses? You would have this unemployment, fool. But we don't want to hear that. We want to sit and pay victims and what the white folks is doing to me. I'm telling you, when I look at the dysfunction of this group, you know how you're busy, you work, 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 you get a little time and you're, it's, I just didn't want to hear it anymore. What they don't have, what they don't need. I don't want to say I don't care, but I'm I'm all, some days I'm kind of getting there. And done. You see the dysfunction. 52 million with that kind of money. Let's say it's half. And I'm willing to bet you more than half. And girl, she wore a lace front, look like a little lace front. Does she want a lace front? Um, let's say just half. Black women, let's say half the men on there and black men get half the money. So that would be what, 20, let's say two and two, four. So 26 million. Gee, oh, 26 million. I wonder how many homes that could buy for black women paying rent if that my home 26 million i wonder how much if that money was divided up and could put toward a down payment on a home for black women and then you just move in and like you normally know, pay rent move in and pay your mortgage 26 million dollars i wonder how many programs you could have that they've got a, some black men that do charter schools Where's the money for the charter schools? Yeah, I know they don't want to deal with women, but for the black men that are doing charter schools and uh, they've got a high success rate. Gee, if I'm not mistaken, my uh, I don't know why the name Shea Butter. I'm not for sure if that's the guy, but they've got charter schools. I wonder for $26 million, how many black, t you could put small schools together uh, with black teachers and put them in small groups, no more than 10 to a classroom. You don't have to, even if it's just like if you have an executive suite and have in small sections, provide uniforms and food. I wonder if $26 million could help. Huh, I wonder if just half the money. I wonder. Well, I guess we'll never know. And it's things like this here. Again, her dialect alone, you can tell uh, what culture she subscribes to. Look at the money made. The black man on there is that child support paid. Only fans, an illusion. You ain't going on a date with a girl, a kiss, a hug, nothing. An illusion with hood culture that you like. And then it's wrapped in the right package. JBW, just be white. So you think about that when they out there begging, need some help. Shh. I saw one with a sign, Negro, please. And yeah, I lock my door. Him and Peter Pan. Oh, he might, you got the window down a little bit. I thought about that. Man, go, you can jump in the window or the sunroof. You know what I would just start doing? Let it up and start dragging your, your behind. People say, oh, you got to be careful, which I totally get. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to let the window up. I'm going to, you know, put your purse on the floor or backseat or something. But yeah, you think about that. They send up her begging. Help a brother out. I'm like this here. Help a brother out. Listen. What they can do is uh, tell them to go cash me out. Cash my side. Call bad baby. Call her to help you out. Get on OnlyFans. Yeah, they should get on OnlyFans. Maybe get your child support payment up. Anyway, this is a little longer than I anticipated. I just thought about that. I was like, wow. So a million in six hours down to 52 million. Who do you think the majority of her base is? It's Blackistan. So Cash Me Outside can ask hood, ignorant, like a thought, ghetto, 
and they subscribe to her page. And now she's made $52 million. Old girl got a $6 million match and paid cash in Boca Raton. Hmm. $6 million. Why? Act like a hood rat. And let's not get it twisted. In the black community, we got a lot of hood rats. A lot of hood rats. Are you kidding? Dustina's the hood rats. Got a whole lot of hood rats. Dustina's. Well, no, 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 no. Those hood rats are black. They don't want that. Don't forget, JBW moment with Negroes, whatever they do, dog walk you, be slap them. It's all right. It's all right. JBW moment, just be white. Let me know what you all think. This is really interesting to say the least. They can pay her this kind of money. But then the same ones costing the community $50 billion annually. Mr. I'm paying $35 a month in child support. It is what it is. So for the mammies, you holding them down? Girl, you looking like a silly clown. You trying to hold these, these dust buckets down. Some of these men, I guarantee you, if they only got a stimulus check, they would go ahead and be on OnlyFans. Black women, you better wake up, Buttercup. She can get this kind of money. The base alone, it has to be black man. But we're not surprised. Ignorance abounds. OnlyFans, Blackistan, I'm out.